Shalom. Kal Halayim wa Hawad la Yahawa, Bahasham Hamashayah, Mamalak Yahawishai, Baha Rakha Kodash. Double honor to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit. Of respect, peace, and salutations to the Akim pushing its word throughout the four corners of the earth, this good news, this gospel, which is in the life of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai says, Adam Warat, sorry, Adam Waratazar, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So I'm just going to touch on this, you know, precept in the book of Job, chapter 9, 24. All right, just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Okay. And it reads, Job 9 and 24, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? Khan. Okay. So, you know, who is the wicked? Esau, Edom. All right. The nobility of Edom starting with the Amalekites. Okay. You know, those top banking elite families. All right. That control and run the media, the diamond districts. Okay. Just to name a couple examples. All right. The so-called white man. All right. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? Okay. And who ultimately gave this devil rulership? Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because the Lord, right, is in control of everything. All life on earth. All right. Let's get a precept. In the book of Revelation. Uh, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4 and there went out another horse that was red right and horse all right represents power all right that's the the unit of measurement okay uh, for an engine a car all right they measure it by horsepower all right that was red all right and guess what color the so-called white man came out as out of the womb <laughs> all right because he lacked pigment so it reads, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Alright, and what's Esau's blessing? The sword. Okay. That's how he's able to, you know, subdue the earth, enslave everybody, conquer everyone. Okay. So he's the one that took peace from the earth with the sword. You know? An example of that is a uh, the book of 1st Maccabees chapter 1, starting from verse 1, I believe, which goes into, you know, Alexander, some history in Alexander the Great, Alexander the Creep, okay? So ultimately, these devils, they colonized, they conquered, they ruled, and took over everything, okay? Enslaved people, okay? Let's get a uh, second edge, is chapter 6. <coughs> And verse 9 straight to the point okay and it reads for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth okay so that's right all right because right now it's his, it's him ruling it's his time to rule okay and his time is coming to an end and it's evident it's evident sorry all right with everything that's going on all right prophecy speaking loud all right we're super close to the end all right of his wicked terror of rain all right we're just waiting for the motv to be made mandatory all right before the nukes fly okay because we know you have to put a short time all right let's go back to job 9 and 24 again and that's why things are you know moving quick all right days are being shortened as well for the elect's sake Bear with me. So back to the book of Job, 9 and 24. Let's read the verse again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? Okay. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Alright, who covered the faces of the judges thereof? Esau Edom. Alright, covered the images or the image of our Messiah. Alright. 
he covered the images or the image of the angels right depicting them as little Edomite babies with wings he covered the faces of all the biblical figures all right especially the Last Supper all right he even covered the faces of the prophets just look at this as an, uh, as an example okay watch when I type into Google images this let's see what comes up there you go look at that see look at that as an example complete madness let's type in angels see what happens there you go see little ch children angels ch all right let's get another preset to support this because not to back this that as proof all right that this man okay whitewash these images let's go to the book of uh, First Maccabees chapter 3 uh, verse 48 and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images all right this devil he saw Eden man you know he's <coughs> you know he's, ch he's changed the images of <coughs> to, you know to, as a, as whitewashed everything okay the prophets, everyone. All right. Let's get a Jeremiah chapter forty-nine and ten, if I remember correctly. So Jeremiah forty-nine. In verse 10 but I have made Esau bear I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not okay so this devil Esau Edom is constantly being exposed and revealed all right even you know people are waking up to who this wicked is all right who has these secret meetings and councils all right who's been made small and despised among the heathen actually if we go to verse 15 for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. All right, and that's Esau Edom. Okay. In fact, if we go into the word for small, it goes into young, small, unimportant, insignificant, young, important, small, in insignificant. Okay. Right, let's look up the word insignificant. See what that means. Get it on Etim online. Okay. Alright, because this man's, you know, philosophy. Alright. That he's poured out on the rest of the world. Alright. These are the nations. That, yeah, they swallowed it. Alright. But these are the nations. They have a hatred for Esau Edom as well. Insignificant from Etym Online 1650s without meaning, also answering to no purpose from in, not opposite of insignificant. Okay. Let's get a quick, you know, Google definition as well. Too small. Too small. Insignificant. Right, or in, unimportant to be worth consideration. Right. You know, and, and the Lord hates Esau Eden. Okay. Alright, so that was just, you know, I wasn't intending to make this long, just a quick lesson. Okay, so, so thank you for tuning in. Hope that was edifying, uplifting, and encouraging. 
again double honour to the apostles of Great Millstone and enclosed in that to give all praise, all honour and all glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakudash. And with that, Kwam Yashurala, Ababa Ba, we got next, Lord willing. Shalom. May that be to the elect. Shalom.